Definitely. And it strips us away from, again, as we already know, I'm not singing to the choir. This is more for the, for the ones who are stumbling across this team. Yeah, man, 100%. <laughs> you know, like black, colored, Negro, West Copper Indian. Colored, man. Copper colored races of the Americas, <laughs> you know, Caribbean oh, yeah. is part of the Americas. Like, who, okay, so what happens? You've got all these titles African American, Black mm. British, Black West Indian. We've got our latest term now. If we look on our passports, we, we are now classed as Black British. There's no mention of West Indian, mm. no Caribbean, nothing on there from our lineage. Our, mm. where our forefathers and four parents came from two, three, four generations before. Mm. Which is a colour now. Wow. How times change, right? Mm. Mm-hmm. And again, it keeps those people not knowing, well, all right, yeah, I know my grandma comes from, from Antigua or from JA, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm British. I'm black. That's it. Yeah. To, yeah. Be, to be fair, there is some currency in those charges, you know, because I was just thinking today, if you are in, if indigenous and, na- and native, it's just semantics to an extent, to an extent, because let's just say that me and you, yeah, I, I'm assuming that your heritage is, is Caribbean. Yes. Um, possibly Jamaican, possibly another island too. Um, uh, but yeah, so my, my ancestry is Spanish town, St. Catherine, and um, St. Thomas. So I've never been born. I, I weren't born there though. So mm. I'm indigenous to quote unquote Europe or Britain or whatever you want to England. call it. Yes, indeed. England. <clears throat> I'm, na- I'm a native now of England because I'm, I'm native to here and I was born here. But mm. that doesn't mean my ancestry is from here. And that's exactly. kind of where it gets misconstrued because people are like, well, I've been here 400 years or 600 years and I know I come from Africa somewhere, but nah, man, I've been here 600 years, so that disqualifies everything now. But, and it's like, okay, I understand the reasoning because you are native, you are indigenous now because 400, 300, 500 years have passed. But where was the origin point? Where was where do you come from? This you is know? it. And at the moment, this is a strong, in the American space, uh, movement to disassociate from the African space or say we're different when we're not. You know, understand? I mean, I've got some fully pedigreed off brothers and sisters from the continent who blended out their seed a little bit here and there. And over time, if you imagine that for 400 years or 500 years, all that admixture, it'd be kind of like, for example, Tyreek, <laughs> Tyreek Nasheed, <laughs> Tyreek Nasheed's mixture, which there's nothing no wrong with mix and this and that, mm-hmm. but Tyreek Nasheed is there for foundational Black America, but yet you've identified as being um mixed which is cool what's he saying he's mixed with though i think he's saying mixed with everything (laughs) but it's like it's like you know but then that same person will be not just him but you know your dane calloways and people of that sort saying they were indian i get it i get it's just terminologies and wordplay but then when you when you're profiled anyway, it's just another it's just another can of worms, man. That just it's unnecessary when you just it's... overstand. There has to be a starting point to many things. And I know that Africa had colonies all over America, and it wasn't just slavery, and it wasn't just this, it wasn't just that. But that being said, where do you originate back to though? That's the point. Um, it's division, sibling. It's division. And I, I do get it because and I, I know you've experienced it as well. There are some brothers and sisters from the continent. Who are clearly from a different tribe from us and they're not down with us they don't want nothing to do with us and there are others mm. who are cool you know we can see we can see ourselves in them like phenotypically like raw i didn't even think he was from the continent i thought you was from one of the islands or something nah, nah, bro, nah, bro. Bro, bro look how it is with music and it like music the music scene for us well speaking for myself but i know you're part of that same catchment might be a little bit older or a bit younger but i'm assuming you might be a bit more older but Sidewinder in them days there, I was mm. probably a youth. Now, when certain people were ripping that microphone at Sidewinder, we were just thinking they're all Jamaican or Carib. Well, <laughs> we were just thinking they're all Caribbean guys and yes. like um Wiley, like Caribbean. Okay. Then we just thought, okay, Dizzy Rascal, we thought Tinchy Strider, or <laughs> all them guys from back in that yes, day. You yes. know what I'm saying? Like, like Napa, 
Shizzle, mm. we thought, nah, he's a yardy. <laughs> Shizzle's a yardy. Mm. But certain man, them, you're like, yo, it's only when it came out, like, oh, yeah, Dizzy Russell's African. What? He's African. Oh, Tinchi's Af- African. What's African? Like, I remember yeah. when growing up, we didn't even know what Somalian was. Like, it was like, yeah. it was one brother. We used to be around the ends and that. And we was like, oh, yeah, he's a Negro. Like, he's black and that. And then years later, was like, oh, I'm from Somalia. We're like, where's Somalia? In Africa. <laughs> Africa, like... I thought, huh? Africa. So there's a lot of ignorance on steroids. Yes. When, when we were growing up and then you found out D-double-D or d double E, and who else was there? Quite a few people, man, in the scene, man, growing up. And you, you just think, oh, they're Jamaican. We'll just put them in the Jamaican box of the yes. Caribbean box. Yes, And then you grow up and you're like, hold up, you're Nigerian. What's Nigerian? <laughs> like, mm. you're, you're Ghanaian. What's that? So there's mm. been a lot of ignorance. But I guess in the, in the UK space, there's a, an abundance of culture and nationalities and stuff. So we're a little bit more nowadays, more versed than probably the American space. But they've only had yeah. And think about it as, yeah. Yeah, of course. course, no, no, of course. And if you think about it back then times, I mean, I didn't have, in my junior school, there was, there was literally white folk, Caribbean folk, East Indian folk, and there was one Chinese woman, young girl, I should say. When I went to secondary school, there was, I don't think there was any Chinese people, mm. Oriental people. It was just Asian, Black. And again, there was no Africans. It wasn't until I left, I started seeing an influx of like, you know, so I wasn't personally exposed to anybody from, from outside of being Caribbean. And the only thing we used to watch is things like Desmond's. That was the first time we probably saw um, <laughs> in the Gambia. <laughs> yes. Before, before Matthew, I didn't know. We didn't really know what go on. And then we grew up nah. with a lot of prejudices and stereotypes that we inherited from English culture, European culture. And we just like have, a, a, I guess, a negative connotation of Africa being charity, this and there's flies and AIDS and HIV. And then when you check the play, you're like, hold up. Yeah. So our ancestors came from Jamaica. Yeah. But where were they before Jamaica? And then you chase some of them back and it goes back to West Africa, even yes. Central, even East. And you're like, wow, we've been so deceived for a long time. And everybody in their books of antiquity know who we are, yeah. where we came from. Yeah. But then we have <laughs> we have this Desmond in-house fighting spirit, Port Pie, uh, Matthew spirit. You know what I'm saying? It's, I th- it's a test. It's a test. I think some of these people are paid agents. Um, I, th- I think if they're not paid the Asians, they just, they just see uh, the financial value mm. in causing more division. Because I, I do, but I, I do agree with some of the doctrine, and I'm using air quotes that um, Mr. Callaway has in regards to um, original folk in the wilderness of North America, where indeed, because it's described in um, Christopher Cologne's memoirs in pisos all of those guys described people who look like us now you can say okay well that was 14 you know 1492 them kind of times blah 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 all right where did they actually come from though like and as you say that as science says man comes from the oldest bones come from africa Mm. but then we have to put another then into it because this mm. is where it gets complex. Mm. Lucy is supposed to be the oldest bones, right? So the, I don't even agree with all the evolutionary rhetoric of Lucy in Africa and, and this South is Africa the and, thing. and America. I don't, I, I don't really subscribe to them things anyway. So it's like a do- water off a duck's back to me. Yes, because it's mute. Because if you, enough pan African brothers, unfortunately, cling on to this thing. Mm. Because if you look at, you, you know what Lucy is, right? Lucy's a monkey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't like, that's, like I said, it? when it comes to the evolutionary rhetoric and, and certain claims that are made, I don't yeah. even resonate with it to like advocate for it. But mm. in terms of like Christopher Columbus and um, Cortez and all them people there, I've read all their books, like the references, not, I've read the references for myself, I've, I've looked at it for myself, I've read what they've wrote and I've, I've, what I've written and um, I've seen the descriptions and what they're talking about. And I appreciate that we had settlements in Brazil, West Africa, Mali. I'm talking about before Mansa Musa, you know, all you have to do is follow the trade winds from West Africa and you would end up in the Brazilian space. And it's interesting that the people of Liberia, you know, they're called, one of the biggest tribes in Liberia was called the crew. 
And it's funny that when you have a ship, you have crewmen. So that just indicates how our people were navigate were, were, were born navigators. When you read the scriptures, one of the tribes, I think it's Zebulon or one of them, they were known for their, their tribe, fair, their water faring. You know, and it's not just mm. Israelites that were um, navigating by sea. Many nations were navigating by sea. You know what I'm trying to say? Um, yes. But when, I, when I've read these things by Columbus, bro, I've read them like he's mm. saying the people had horse hair. Mm. And he's saying that even describe white people there. Now we have to overstand as well. There are people with white complexion in the American space. Mongoloids. Not even just the Siberian migration and the okay. Indonesian migration. But so there, were some people, there were some people there that was probably from North Africa and probably even South Africa that migrated across there. Because when you read a lot of these Indian um, oral histories and traditions, they said that yeah. some giants suddenly just turned up on their doorstep of boats and they were known for cannibalism, homosexuality mm. and taking over lands by, by, by mass. Like I've literally got the documents. I read it the other day. I did a live stream on it. So America's a, it was an interesting place. It wasn't just all uh, one type of people there. Loads of people going to and fro, you know, a hodgepodge. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, man. Like, the, 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 yeah. See, some people get lost in the color of our black this or I know uh, brown this and that. But some of the documents are saying it was kind of what because when when you look at um uh what is it the Azores, mm -hmm. you know about the Azores? that was inhabited by because that's near close to North Africa, Morocco, uh, Mauritania, like it's kind yes. of in the North African region. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that region you do have. Northwest, you do have yeah. you, you do have people that have a variety of complexions, like you have the mm -hmm. Berbers, you have mm -hmm. the, the Moors, but you had the Blacker Moors. There's so much history, there's so much history, but there's a yeah, lot of oh, ignorance. See, and, let um, me just let me pause you right there for one yeah, moment. Man. Moors, w w biblically, w are, are, are Moors Canaanites? Nah, yeah, it's a it's a the reason, yes and no. But it's a complex one because it was a universal umbrella term. Exactly. But then, but then over time, they, I guess, ostracized those who were black and they called them the black Amor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because the Moors were a confederacy of Berber, Arab, exactly. yes. and Sub Saharan blacks. Yes. Who had been converted to Islam by the Indeed. sword, who were willingly converted to Islam. And then you had the Berbers, which were like a, um, a northern hybrid Norman. nomadic kind of nomadic. light pale yeah, yeah, yeah man yes so a yes, lot of them yes. yeah man so a lot of them people them ended up in in america that's why you have more town and more this and more that i get all of that stuff but that being said these people i believe based upon the scripts now because i yo there's so much stuff that's come out recently about the scripts man that's just gave it validity for the mm -hmm. african continent and that's why i feel like everybody's going against the story of the african continent because when you take away africa from the equation you can't call yourself no Israelite or try to make claim to any kind of heritage without Africa being in the mix. <laughs> well, oh, I, heard, I heard a certain um, prolific <clears throat> universal ex-camp cult mention this um, Afro. Oh, yes, is what Israel is. It's, 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 you know, it's Africa, but it's not like the main body of Africa. It's up at the top. Yeah, whether it's the main body or not, it's still on a tectonic place of Africa. <laughs> like, <laughs> you, you, you can't get away from it. And now, don't get it twisted. We can rewind time maybe three, four years ago. No, probably even, uh, yeah, about three, four years ago. And I was, yeah, yeah, but it's still different, though. No? It's still different. <laughs> you know mm. what I mean mm. but it, it's through knowledge wisdom understanding reading the text more and just looking looking and, and observing and thinking okay well you know logically uh, yeah it, it makes sense and all of us wasn't all put on ships mm. there was a remnant that was that's there that's still there to this day but they don't know so, you know we've got the 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 well-established tribes who are um, still keeping the commandments, etc. Mm -hmm. Although some of them have got the Yolkamas on and all that kind of stuff, but that's a sidebar. That's a sidebar. Um, but you've got people who are unfortunately they have fully integrated into this the the continental African spirituality, maybe, 
whether it be the conversion out into the Catholicism or the Seven Day Adventist or whatever, whatever, mm-hmm. and they have no clue. They have no identification. They don't know nothing about nothing because they're still here. They can maybe read about us in the book and say, "Oh, well, you know, those those guys got scattered off, but we're still here on the continent, so that can't be us." Mm, 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 mm. It's true, man, but it's it's an interesting one because not everybody got scattered and got put into um, a slavery situation. It was only two tribes. Um, predominantly, it would have been other people too, because no one had like a a, a fine dossier of <laughs> like, okay, ten from here, ten from here, but. They were very strategic on who they were trying to take. Yes. And that's been archived quite um, immensely. And it's only because they changed names, they've changed things on maps. That's kind of made things a bit disjointed. But when you start to build with the people on the continent in terms of exchanging of communication and resources, you know, like, for example, Benin, the name yes. Benin is just a crucial, like, like Benin is Wahida. Wahida is Jehuda. So, there's a place in Benin called Beno, Be, Benoni and Benjamin, before he was called Benjamin, he was called Benoni. So names are like GPS. They give you yes. away. That's why they change the names. And, you know, when you go to the Ashante or you go to Ghana, you have Ashan. There's a tribe called, Ash, there was a song called Ashan. And they say that T.I. means the son of. So Ashanti means the son of Ashan. Um, when you go to Congo, there's a place called Zaire. You see Zaya in the scriptures. Yes. There's so many places that I just mentioned in the scriptures, bro. And mm-hmm. you have to remember that the colonized Africa got rid of Bantu, got rid of certain languages, got certain, yep. rid of certain customs. They demonized things and made made things anathema and told people not to look into things and stuff like that. Then th- those who were dispersed, they did the same to them, re-educated them, miseducated them. So both sides of the equation, both whether they be continental or diaspora, there's been a miseducation system in place to keep these guys from embracing each other. Yeah. When you start to embrace each other, you're like, raw, hold up. In it, in it. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> wow, wow, wow. And, you, and, then you, and then you're just having that conversation and you're like, wow, we, we are so... For example, brother, I've read some documentations on that. When it comes to food, one of our staple diets in the Jamaican space is, is yam. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When you go to West Africa, um, you have the Wolof tribe. And the Wolof tribe, they say for food or for eating, they say nyam. Ratted. So when you start just chatting to man them on a level, not on no yeah. religious thing, because I'm not even yeah. on a religious thing like that. I'm on a culture not. thing like, yo, Indeed. what is the culture? How mm. does it harmonize? Yeah. And, and let's move from there. Religion will keep you in our, your Adventist, your moment. Like, I'm not on that. It's dead. The mindset's so dead. And I used to be with that mindset, so I know it's dead. But yeah, religio divide to separate, you know, to divide. It's doing it's doing its job, it's doing its prescribed job. I don't necessarily think that any of these um religions were supposed to be religions that were supposed to be mm-hmm. the system for those set of people yep, to deal yep, with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all it is, man. It's very simple stuff, man. It's very it's so like for example, there's a this is what I'm saying. Like, I spoke to my Benin brethren, and there's a custom that they do, it's in the Bible, yeah. Now, you would just say, oh, that's some African spiritual juju. But it's actually in the book. And, mm. this, and, the, and the thing is this. When a man has a wife here, she's supposed to be a virgin. Supposed to be. That's how sacred we took sex. That's mm. how sacred we made things. But now everything's just up for grabs, literally. So there's a custom. When a father gives it, like, even, a, even a dowry system, there's so many systems that were just our system. Yeah. And it's in the scriptures and it's yeah. complementary. It's mm-hmm. just African spiritualism or mm. whatever you want to call it. So um when you take when you get a woman, she's supposed to be a virgin. And if she's not a virgin, one of the tests is obviously um the flower. So if the flower doesn't give any marks on the on the sheet, then that that that's not a virgin. So then you can ask for an investigation or you can query the parents because you yes. pay dowry. For the Indeed. bride, and the bride's not a virgin, so you've been shortchanged, and mm-hmm. that was like a, a um a way of proving if the girl's a virgin or not. So what Purity. would happen was, it's weird. It sounds creepy now, brother. The parents, after they do that little thing, <laughs> and open the present per se, using a <laughs> metaphor, when they open the present, the parent would take the wrapper and have it as a souvenir. Sounds crazy. 
Yeah. But that is just that is in case if it gets to court, yes. or if the court is accused of being um, a whore, because mm-hmm. whoredom was a big a big taboo in our culture. Yes. But now whoredom is a big thing, batty riders and batty this and that. But, but 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 that thing there was used as a witness by the parents to say, look, when we gave it to you, she was a virgin. We have the proof. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We have a receipt. Yeah. Um, it's a custom that they do today in Nigeria. Sounds creepy. Sounds funny. But then when you show people it's in the book, yeah, they're like, huh? But it's I just... knew, I knew about the, the the exactly communication and keeping these traditions going on. I knew about the cloth thing, you know, but I didn't mm. know about them keeping it after still. Yeah, man, like it's weird, it's weird, but you pull it from <laughs> check it like this year. Um, I'm not saying I'll be up for that one, but you get people that um they lose their teeth and the tooth fairy comes and <laughs> You know, many of our parents have got our teeth as ornaments somewhere in their local ornament box. <laughs> I'm like, what are you doing with my tough man? I'm like, get my tough mat, bro. <laughs> For real. But so I, I get no, and, that, and that's an excellent analogy to, to go along with it. Because that, And that's what it is. It's a, it's a significant physical memory, which has been encapsulated in that sense. Um, you pick it up. Oh, shit. I remember. My daughter, <laughs> this is the thing, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, this man. tooth, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, man, embossing tooth off the door and yeah, yeah. Something, some Mrs. Baby talk now, yeah, yeah. Man, man out there, man out there making tooth change, you know. <laughs> <laughs> like, like Papa Shango from <laughs> WWF days. You know what I'm saying? Bit of tooth change. So when you just when you uh, when you like literally strip back all of the because even in the, the American Indian space, I know there are some American Indians who have. West African ancestry, but for example, there's a tribe out there, the Seminole. Now, the Seminole integrated with the indigenous Indians or native Indians. I don't get caught up in the wordplay, but the people them that were there from Siberia who went all the way down to South, Meso, and North. Yes. They still have the same phenotype, bro. Yes. Whether you see them, they're not all mongoloids. Some of them have a rectangular head, mm-hmm. and they're further South America. Some of them have like a, a circular head. They're more like Meso and North, but they all look the same, bro, to an extent. To an extent. And um, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of like there's a tribe in the American space. Obviously, the Seminoles are not really a tribe. They're like a combination of people. I was say, yeah, 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 yeah. But one of the languages that these, these people spoke was Gula or Gula. Gula, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Gula just takes you back to the continent. Mm. So there's just miseducation on steroids, man, when it comes to who people are. And obviously, people, people have mixed and had relationships with people and then then people have divided loyalties and then they want to probably try you know cling to two or try, probably try and mix up the thing and cause a bit of contention due to not really knowing where they fit in which happens it's natural it's normal but at the same set time um you have to have a, a origin starter place mm. of origin to an yes. extent so, yes yes but again <clears throat> which makes it even more complex of sorts it's okay yeah you know i hear these these hebrew brothers these israelite brothers you know they're talking all this stuff and yeah it kind of makes sense and stuff but you know b- b- before that you know mm. and before it was an oral tradition we've got like an inf- you know an infinity of years that you know africans on the continent were doing their thing and they had all these different spiritual systems which i'm pretty sure wasn't the same they may have similar bits and pieces because as the Pan-Africans and, you know, the African spiritual reality people say, the Bible stole all this stuff from Kemet and and some of the other spiritual systems and stuff. Yeah, 100%, man. You have the negative confessions in the Egyptian um, religion, negative confessions, which is similar to some of the more or, or morals in the, um, the scriptures. So yes. there is definitely overlapping and overhanging. You'd be insane to say there isn't. You know, but it's as if when it came to a certain time period, a distinction was made to iron out or consolidate how the custom should be. Because um, even when you just look at the 12 tribes of Israel, then two of the tribes were mixed with Egyptians, bro. Yes. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? Like, two of the tribes, bro, <laughs> are mixed with Egypt, bro. And not only that, his name's Ephraim. Like, mm-hmm. Ephraim. And then you read the book, there's a prophet called Ezra. You know, if you read the book again, you have a prophet called Deborah. Yes. If you look at the Old Testament, it's called the Prophetess. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's like, there's so many, like, you could, but what people, like, like what I'm saying, what religion does, it gives you one little soundbite, 
all the Egyptians were evil. That's why they got the 10 plagues and Pharaoh got took out because he was a bad man and this, that, and the other, which is true to an extent. Yeah. However, what they failed to realize is that Joseph was used to save Egypt. Yahushua, allegedly, according to the story, he found refuge in Egypt. So a lot of, a lot of the times there's a one-sided critique of that Egypt's the ultimate boogeyman. But then we don't do the same when it comes to the Greeks. Because in yes. the book of Maccabees, the book they took out, the Greeks were raping yes. us, killing us. But we don't talk about the Eurocentric abuses. We only Forcing talk about to eat pork. Pork, black and black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the way, that, the way we've been brainwashed to hate melanin or ham or this and that, it's just ridiculous. I don't really subscribe to a lot of the folly, to be honest. Because there's too much places where it overhaps, over, even, even even Psalm 23 or the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want his rod and staff comfort me. The Pharaohs had a rod and a staff. Mm -hmm. So it does, it just don't make that much sense to disconnect from everything because everything's evil because it's Egypt. Now, some things were a bit funky, you know, going out with all your daughters and that. <laughs> Pharaoh. Yes, um, but you see with that kind of thing, we're talking about the, um, the pharaonic periods. Pre yeah, you know, pre-dynastic Egypt, you had, you know, original folk in essence from the continent of Africa. Post that period up until the latter part, it was all kind of different nations coming here, taking the throne and this and that. Mm. So it's, again, you've got, to, you've got to look at things very widely. We can't just look at one section. Narrow. Okay. Mm. Yeah, very narrow, very linear. Like, okay, let's look at the, the phronic sections. Oh, pre-dynastic Oh, well, Nubia. What, what, what connection does Nubia have to, to Egypt apart from the geographical location? It's south of, 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 of Egypt, plus Shemet. Like, well, no, that's the building block. Without Nubia, Sudan, there would yeah. be no Kemet's. But well, that's when you got to realize that the, the maps are upside down, potentially. Mm. <laughs> that's another story for another day, man. But the maps Definitely. are kind of upside down. South Africa, it's an interesting one. Like, how is the water running? How does run, water run? And now upwards. That, it just don't make sense. So That blew my mind when I first got that jewel. I was like, huh? <laughs> the Sofo in South Africa or near South Africa, known as the, the island in, 